we have here is a 1987 camper RV over the road with a seven and a half liter Ford engine powering it. The VIN number says that this is a John Deere built chassis. Going right there, the seven and a half liter. The engine is under the front floor between the driver and passenger. Overall looks in good shape. Tires may have dry rot, they're just older, but they look like they have good tread on them. It has a side awning. It seems like a lot of work's been done inside to replace some of the plywood front to back. This was a project that someone just had to pass on. Still relatively solid on the outside. The upper corner's missing at the back. Hitch mount at the front, I'm not sure what that could be used for. Oh, mounting bicycles, carry them on the front of the vehicle or other cargo. Some of the siding I'm sure could just be purchased locally at an RV or a truck box repair shop. Got a lot of cabinet work here. It's a sewer system in the electric hookup. Other storage, jack tools. I think this is a Tony generator, powered by Kohler. So there's your electric, if you can't hook up. Storage battery reserve for the inside. Doors work. A little bit of oil fumes coming off the valve covers. Fifty-three thousand three fifteen for mileage. Engine cover. A lot of interior work has been done been painted inside. A lot of the plywood cabinet work has been done. No cushions come with it. A lot of storage capacity for cabinets. Got a side passenger door halfway down the length. Got a range, got a hood, microwave, refrigerator, fairly clean. The whole camper is actually fairly clean. A lot of work's been done. Fairly presentable. Needs the uh, fabrics, upholsteries, and curtains installed. All new plywood under the bedding. And that back corner is a plywood situation with siding that you can buy. But that was opened up, someone turned too sharp, caught a post.